Okay then guys, so let's walk through this uh, little lick and yeah, this is all about John Mayer and first things first, we're using the fingers with the right hand. So I'm using my thumb and my first finger and I'm gonna use a typical John Mayer style technique which is just literally using those two during the lead play. Okay, so this isn't kind of finger style where we're playing with all three or four or however many fingers. Um, it's just those two, okay? So as we go through the solo, I just want you to pay attention to that right hand as well, because that's a really big part of this sound, okay? So I'm up in C sharp minor, pentatonic shape one. Um, and you could call it E major as well, but really I'm thinking C sharp minor at the moment. And I start like this. with this kind of classic blues lick. And what we're doing is I'm actually gonna use my first finger on the ninth fret of the B string, and then I'm gonna drag my third finger onto the twelfth, and that's gonna be with my thumb and my thumb on the right hand, okay? Then ninth fret again, but this time this is on the high E string, and I'm using my first finger this time to pluck up at that. Giving it a nice twang. That's the lead up. And then I'm going to grab the 12th fret and I'm going to give it a little quarter bend back to the 9 and then 9 on the B string. So notice I'm kind of, I'm not quite flattening it here, I can do. Or you can kind of slightly roll over. Whatever you prefer really, the flattening thing does work well as long as you don't kind of keep it so flat that you don't let the note kind of recover after you do the bend over here, okay? So notice also with the right hand, I'm doing finger, finger, thumb. Okay, and I do do that twice, exactly like that. Uh, sorry, three times. No, it is twice. And then I'm gonna jump up to the 12 and then bend that a full tone, okay? Now, you've got to really dig in to not grab the strings above and make it sound like this. You know, where you hit the other notes. You've got to dig in and really give it some to get the full bend. Again, I'm using my first finger on the right hand and then coming down to the 12. So that first bit is this. Okay, so you don't hear the bend drop down. Now, then you're going to go to this which is a really subtly hard lick, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm hitting the nine, pulling off from the 12 to the nine on the B string. Again, first finger, right hand, then thumb. Then I'm gonna come back to the G string, and with the thumb on the right hand, I'm gonna pluck that and bend it up a half tone. Back to the, the ninth fret, and then back to the 11th fret. All with the thumb. And then I'm just going to simply just literally kind of do what you could call a hammer on from nowhere. So I'm here at the moment and then I'm going to pull off to the ninth fret and then just throw my third finger down. Okay, just literally throw it down. Nothing's happening at all with the right hand. Okay, like this. Okay, so notice the right hand didn't do anything there. And that's all part of that kind of ghost note effect, uh, which, which is kind of very, very quick, short notes. Okay. And that together so far is this. Okay. And then what we're gonna do just to finish it off is this. Okay, now this is a cool little lick. I'm just gonna simply grab that ninth fret G string, and then I'm gonna pluck the D string 11th fret, pull off, and then hammer on from nowhere, so I'm not touching it with my right hand, to the 11th fret A string. And you're literally just gonna go through it as fast as you possibly can. So literally, how quick can those fingers move? As soon as you get to this one, you stop it dead. So you release the pressure as soon as you get to it. Okay, right, let's try and piece that together. And there we have it. 
So as far as getting the John Mayer sound together, um, it's, it's very much based in blues using kind of pentatonic scales and everything else. Uh, but really the, the, the gist of it all comes from the right hand technique and, and the kind of groove that you can create just with the thumb and the finger. Okay, so you'll see a lot of this from John Mayer. You know, all that Jimi Hendrix stuff. And you see it in the lead playing as well, a lot of the time. So, you know, uh, the first thing I would do is start to just get confident with your right hand and, and just kind of picking with your thumb and first finger. Do this lick as practice of that. And then just, you know, when you're doing some jamming and playing along with stuff, just put the plectrum down and just try and develop this right hand. And that's going to go a long, long way to sounding like John Mayer.